Hello one and all. Welcome to Rupa Ganesh channel of English. In this video, I am going to present about Jazz Poem 2. This poem is written by Carl Wendell Heinz. Jazz is in African music. Music is divine, whether it is Eastern or Western. That is why Saint Thyagaraja said, Sangeeta Gnana Vihina Laku Moksha Mugaladu. There is no self-realization for those who are ignorant of music. So, come friends, let us know about the poem, Jazz Poem 2, written by Carl Wendell Heinz. The main idea of this poem is that talent of a person is of utmost importance but not one's physical appearance or beauty. At the beginning, I like to present the highlights of the poem, Jazz Poem 2. As I said earlier, jazz is in African music. Here, the poem is from two point of view, that is, the physical appearance of the jazz player and his talent, that is, the great musical talent of the jazz player. So let's see the highlights one by one. Jazz Poem 2 was written by the poet Carl Wendell Heinz Jr. Of course, jazz is an African art. Jazz player is physically awkward but had great musical talent. Jazz player is a pathetic figure. He is compared to black ancient mariner. So what is that black ancient mariner? That's a character in the poem, The Rhyme of Ancient Mariner, written by Samuel Coleridge. The face of jazz player was full of wrinkles. Is tired of life and so he keeps his head down. Of course when we are not too much confident about ourselves we bend our head or if we have done any mistake we bow our head. Of course as a token of respect also we bow our head but here he was very tired of, of the life and hence he keeps his head down. He wears a faded blue shirt that has turned dark with sweat and has a tone, col tone collar. He wears a necktie that hangs loosely over his jacket. And also, another physical appearance to be noted is his sagging stomach. So the blue shirt or the jacket which he wears holds his sagging stomach. Jazz player is a poor man. We come to know that with his torn shoes. He has stuffed his shoes with paper. Jazz player has a rough unshaven face. He stands alone. He has a musical instrument that was a saxophone. It hangs across his chest supported by his wire coat hanger. When he plays saxophone, he is a bird. He feels very free. He feels he has got a lot of freedom. He forgets all his troubles. He is a bird that gathers its wings and flies higher and higher. Through his music, he wants to tell the world that he is a black man sent to preach the black gospel of truth. When he stops playing, he is a black man again. So in this poem, there is a contrast between his musical ability and physical appearance. But the point to be noted is, the physical appearance of the person has nothing to do with artistic talent of the jazz player.
So here is the summary of the poem. Corn Wendell Hines Jr. brings out the two faces of jazz player in Jazz Poem 2. He is a pathetic figure. He is compared to black ancient marina. He is poor and his dress is old. His face is wrinkled and he stands his head bent down. But he has power in him to make the people to listen to his music. He is silent in his speech and eloquent in his music. When he plays saxophone, he is a bird. Through his music, he wishes to preach the black gospel of jazz. Jazz player is physically awkward but draws the attention of the people through his music. When he plays music, he brings in freedom and like a bird, flies free. At the end, he comes back to the earth to find himself a black man again. Friends, in English, there is a saying, judge not the book by its cover. In the same way, we shouldn't judge a person by his outward appearance or physical beauty because physical appearance is deceptive. We need to respect one's inner beauty. It may be his talent, his knowledge, etc. So friends, I hope this video was informative and enlightened you about the Jazz Poem 2 prescribed for SSLC students of Second Language English State Board Karnataka. Wish you all the best and thanks for watching.